Hello dear students, I hope you all are doing well. Let us look at this question. The general form of the linear equation in two variables is of the form ax plus by plus c equals to 0 where we are being given with four options. Let us read them one by one. Option A, A is not equal to 0, B is not equal to 0. Option B, A is equal to 0 and B is not equal to 0. Option C is a is not equal to 0, but B is equals to 0 and option D, none of these. So if we you know, first analyze this, we know what is the general form of the linear equation in two variables. It is given to us already. It has to be AX plus BY plus C equals to 0. Here we need to define few things. Here the coefficient of the first variable X is A. What is this a? This a is its coefficient and b is also its coefficient, isn't it? These two are the coefficients of the given variables. So if the value of these coefficients becomes zero somehow, so what will be the effect in the given equation? Let us try to understand it. Here as we are being given the general form to be ax plus by plus c equals to zero. So if let us suppose a is equal to 0. In that case, what will happen? In that case, you can understand that in place of a, if I write 0, it becomes 0 times x plus by plus c equals to 0. That will be simply by plus c equals to 0. So this also is definitely an equation. It is an equation in linear form only because the, the exponent of the variable is 1. But here, how many variables do we see? We find only one variable that is y. So we do not have it in two variables. So when a becomes 0, this equation becomes linear equation in one variable. But we are in need of the linear equation of two variables. So a can never be 0, right? If suppose we take b as 0. Let us also try to substitute b equals to 0. In that case, what would happen? ax will remain same, but in place of b, if I write 0, it becomes 0 times y added with c and this will result into ax plus c equals to 0. So this again happens to be a linear equation, but here I see that there is only one variable that is x. So this equation is the linear equation in one variable, but we need two variables. So we cannot have b equals to 0, we cannot have a equals to 0. And where do we find this option? Option a is suitable for this. a is not equal to 0 and b is not equal to 0, then only the general form of linear equation in two variable will be justified. That is ax plus by plus c equals to 0. I hope it is clear to all of you. Thank you so much.